Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Update for Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment in college basketball. Real quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Then you can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else, for that matter, on the roster over at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. All right, uh, nice five-star winner for us last night. Kentucky got off to the great start. Halftime lead over Kansas. Hung on for the cover for us. We are now 6-1, 86% with our college basketball side so far this season. As you can tell, we've been minimalist so far this college basketball season with everything that's been going on. COVID-related issues, obviously the schedules. Uh, we've been going one to two games per day and again, uh, off to a nice 6-1 and one start. So, uh, five-star winner yesterday, five-star winner the night before for that, that was on UCF. And today we have our first six star play of the college basketball season. It goes on Wednesday. It is available at docsports.com. And uh, you'll be able to get that, of course, uh, throughout the day over at Doc Sports on my handicappers homepage. Wanted to also mention that we are involved in PGA, my first matchup for round one. It's an early Thursday morning matchup, so it's available on Wednesday only at docsports.com. You'll be able to get that on Wednesday during the day for Thursday morning. Uh, 29 and 16 is our run in the PGA since August 1st, up almost $4,000 for $100 per unit better. So doing well in golf. Uh, I just told you what we're doing in college basketball. Off to a nice 6-1 and one start there. Uh, football Thursday, we'll be posting all the plays on Thursday afternoon, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, and I'll tell you more about that on Thursday's video. Real quick note on the battle between the Ravens and the Steelers uh, taking place on Wednesday. Obviously, with the date change, uh, the game was canceled, the bet was canceled, and uh, I don't have any play on it for Wednesday. Uh, we're going to stay out of this game. Uh, cost me some potential money over at the Westgate Super Contest in Las Vegas. Needed one more win, a couple things to happen, and they had their quarterly contest within the contest itself. And uh, about a win away from picking up about $62,500. And instead, uh, we're going to split ten grand for third place with five other people. So I'll end up getting about $1,600, almost $1,700. Not going to complain about that, but a far cry from $62,500. And this was the game. This was my fifth game that we had last Thursday. And of course, the rules of the Westgate Super Contest, folks, are this. If it gets pushed past Tuesday, Day of that upcoming week, then it's no longer a play. You're just SOL. You're out of luck. And that was the case uh, for myself. Uh, so anyway, uh, just a little note on uh, a bad beat due to COVID. As you can tell, I'm still kind of out of it a little bit, but uh, we're going to get through these videos each and every day. And again, we've got that six-star play over at DocSports.com in college basketball. We look to go to 7-1 and one with our college basketball sides on the season. Free pick. I did not win the free pick here last night. Let's look to win this one. It's San Francisco and Nevada. Uh, Reno laying about two and a half of this one, the Wolfpack. And, you know, I got to see them play while I was recuperating, recovering uh, from feeling pretty bad last week. Got to see them play in one of their games in Lincoln against Nebraska, watching it on TV. And what I liked out of this team was the fight because they fell down by 10 in the second half of that game on the road and just kept fighting, came back and won the basketball game. And they did it by playing great on the defensive end. And that's what you can expect out of the Wolfpack. They're going to play hard and play in your face on the defensive end of the court. And they're off to a nice 3-0 and start. And at the same time, they don't make stupid mistakes on the offensive end. They take care of business. Now, as far as San Francisco, they had a big win last week over Virginia, and then they just were a worn-out basketball team. They played a bunch of games in a short period of time, and uh, they got handled by Rhode Island by 13, I think it was, losing by 13. And the problem for me with San Francisco isn't on offense. It's the defensive end. They're just a team that's going to give up a few too many easy baskets. And with a short number like this, uh, we like Nevada laying the two and a half. By the way, They've been pretty good for bankrolls, Nevada. 14 and 5 against the spread last 19 times off a win. 11 and 5 against the spread their last 16 games overall. Uh, so the free pick, the opinion for Wednesday's college baskets, Nevada minus the points over San Francisco. Don't forget about that six star play in college baskets on my handicappers homepage, docsports.com. We'll look to go to 7 and 1 with our college basketball sides on the season. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, docsports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column.